Okay, we are in a non tallied airport. The elevation here is about 1,300 feet. The traffic pattern is 2,300. So, as you remember in your uh, aim, the crosswind turn starts at an non tallied airport when you're within 300 feet of the traffic pattern altitude. Okay, so I'm going to start my crosswind turn at 2,000. The reason for that, it's all collision avoidance, folks. It's all collision avoidance. All the rules are the pattern for collision avoidance. There's about 2,000 there. Wing up, nobody left. On my left, Perkins traffic skip. Cessna 734 Hotel, turning left crosswind. Runway 13, Perkins, remaining in the pattern. I, I like to put my downward, my upwind heading right there, right in that little mark right there. Go up, boom, we'll go to 13 minus 9, which would be 4, 0, 4, 0. Get the wings level with the traffic left and right. Going up to 2300 for the traffic pattern. With the crossover traffic, nobody there. Are we coming in on the 45? And down when we go. The reason that upwind turn is delayed until you're within 300 feet of the traffic pattern, as you will see here, by the time I get this downwind turn done, bang, I'm at my traffic pattern. Thereby, traffic pattern altitude, thereby being visible to those entering the pattern. Okay. I, I uh, have a habit, as soon as I roll wings level, I'll double check my uh, direction of gyro against the compass. I'm in flight school airplanes all the time, so they, they have a propensity to go off. Alright, you can crab a little bit on the downwind if you want. We're at midfield now. Get some camera guys down there we gotta be careful of. Alright. Is there anybody on the base or anything? No, we're pretty good. Being the numbers. I'm not gonna teach you folks how to land it. I'll skip some of the steps that I'm just doing naturally, but I'll, I'll talk to, to the landing here. Hopefully I have a good wind when we get down there.